Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the worldwide reference system that is WRS path row and type for any Landsat image in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So now let me explain about what is a worldwide reference system. So worldwide reference system is a global system that catalogs the Landsat data by path and row numbers. The Landsat satellite 1, 2, 3 and followed by WRS1 and uh, satellite uh, Landsat satellites like 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9 follows WRS2. So the worldwide uh, reference system is used to identify the path and row of each Landsat image. The path is a descending orbit of satellite and each path is uh, segmented uh, into 119 rows from north to south and the Landsat MSS that is multispectral scanner sensor had a a swath width of uh, 180 kilometers and a global coverage required to be around uh, 251 paths. So now to find the WRS uh, path through and type for any Landsat 8 image, first we're going to import our Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine. So to import Landsat 8 image into Earth Engine, we defined a variable called dataset equals to double dot image collection, uh, Landsat LC8 collection 2 tire top of the atmosphere. And we're going to filter with the specific time period that is 2017, January 1 to 2017, December 31st. And we're going to filter with the specific uh, study area. So for that, we define dot filter bound study area. So to define a study area, it is simple. We're going to navigate this option here. So let me first delete this one. So to delete this particular study area, we're going to click this and we're going to click this option called delete. So I've deleted my study area. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to click this option called draw a rectangle. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle over this part of the study area. And now I'm going to enter my uh, in the you can able to see here a variable geometry has been generated here with four vertices indicating our study area that is polygon. I'm going to enter the name as study area here. So now I have created a, a variable study area. That is our study area polygon here with four vertices here. So now we're going to filter bound with the specific study area that is dot filter bound study area. And to visualize the details of this particular image, we define print data set. So to view the necessary details of WRS row path and type for uh, Landsat 8 image, we define print data set. And uh, to visualize this particular image of the study area, we defined uh, a visualization parameters for that we defined variable true color 432 represents band uh, Landsat 8 band 4 3 and 2 of true color composite equals to data set data set refers to this particular variable where we are importing our Landsat 8 image and uh, in the data set we are selecting band 4 band 3 and band 2 and next we have to define a visualization parameter for that we define variable true color 432 vis we are setting a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 0 0.4 this is a contrast and brightness level for the image. So we have defined with the minimum contrast and brightness of 0.0, .0 and the maximum uh, contrast and brightness of 0.4. And next to uh, we add this uh, layer into Earth Engine, we define map.add layer true color 432, that is band 4, 3, and 2. And this is true color, which refers to a visualization parameter, this particular variable. And output the layer name as true color 432. So now let's run this code. So to run this code, we're going to click this option called run script. And now we're going to visualize our result here. So first we're going to check this, uh, the WRS row path and type here. So for that in the console section, you can able to see image collection. So we're going to click this arrow here. So here you can able to see there is a features of 19 elements. So we're going to click this features. And here there is a uh, many different Landsat 8 images available for this specific uh, timeline between uh, January to December of 2017. So in the first image, I'm going to click this arrow button here and we're going to visualize the property of this first image. So here you can able to see here, there is a variety of properties uh, for this particular Landsat 8 image. So this particular image was acquired in 2017, January 7. So there is a variety of data you can able to go through uh, and the script will be given in the description. So now to uh, check the WRS row and path, we're going to navigate down. And we can able to see here that WRS path is 147 and WRS row is 47 and WRS type is 2. So in this video I have shown you 
how to find the worldwide reference system path that is WRS path through and type for Landsat 8 image. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel and give us a like.